Hi everyone, Ms. Stella here at Learn to Grow. Happy spring! Today I'm going to share 20 crops that you can direct sow now for your spring garden, even if it's still a few weeks before your last frost date, as long as the soil is workable. And as the weather warms, the seeds will sprout or germinate. And it's also a good idea to read the instructions on the seed packet, so make sure to do that. So these are just some ideas, but make sure to grow what you like to eat. Now, if you don't know your last frost date, there are many websites that you can go to, including farmersalmanac.com, where you can type in your zip code and or your city, and it'll show you your last frost date. But do keep in mind that there is still a 30% chance of frost after this date. We're about to get some rain, so I'm going to go ahead and sow a few seeds with you, and I'll be listing the rest in this video. And also make sure to check out the description box for a list of the 20 crops. I hope that you find this video helpful, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy gardening! Here is the raised bed that I'm planting in today. This is 17 inches tall and as you can see the soil settled down a bit. We've been getting a lot of rain which is fine because it's keeping the soil moist so I don't have to water. And we, I still have about 12 inches of planting depth to plant in which is fine. This bed is about six and a half feet long and just under four feet wide. We have some snow peas and sweet magnolia peas that I soaked overnight to speed up germination. The sweet magnolia peas will be going in the front garden bed. As long as the soil is workable, peas can be sown about six to eight weeks, sometimes even earlier, before your last spring frost. And you can also sow them under covers, such as a hoop house, cold frame, or under cloches. Now, if you've never grown peas, beans, and other legumes, they have a symbiotic relationship with a soil dwelling bacterium called rhizobia. And what happens is these bacteria will inoculate the plant's roots and form these root nodules. And they have the ability to convert atmospheric nitrogen and store them into these nodules that the plants can use. Now, some people put inoculation before you plant them. You don't have to, they will still grow and produce. When you plant your seeds, bury them about two to three times the diameter or the width of the seed. So usually peas are buried about an inch deep. So what I'd like to do is just use a garden stake and poke holes and drop in the seeds. Space them out about two to three inches apart. Make sure to plant your vegetables in full sun and in well-drained and loam or fertile soil. So I just drop them in the holes just like that. Just press down. This one is Purple Magic F1 Pak Choi. It is a hybrid. That's what the F1 means and it stands for filial one. So if you were to allow this to go to seed and try to grow them from the seeds that you collect, from these plants, they most likely will not breed true to type since these are bred from two parent plants. These seeds are pretty tiny, so these can be buried about a quarter of an inch deep. And make sure to check the seed packets for more instructions. I usually just run my stick through again, or a stick, just go like this. You can just make a shallow furrow and you sow the seeds in there. And you can always go back and thin them out later. And just pinch a few at a time and just drop them in just like so and when you thin them later you'll be thinning them to about 6 to 12 inches apart depending on varieties some pak choy or bok choy varieties are much bigger these ones are not that big and don't forget to eat your thinnings those are pretty much microgreens. Put the soil over and just press just like that. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to wrap this up. But before I go, I just want to mention that the crops that I'm planting together are compatible with each other. So they won't fight or compete for nutrients and shouldn't hinder each other's growth. So over on this side are going to be a patch of spinach 
Then I've got the bok choy or pak choy here. In the middle, we'll have some carrots and beets. And on the back row are the peas. I'll be posting an update, so make sure to stay tuned. Happy gardening! When you have the chance, please check out my new book, Four Season Food Gardening, which was released last week. Thanks for your support.